start in this video with the topic of the anatomy of ureter okay so first of all uh, ureter so ureter is an organ a paired organ which is starting from the renal pelvis area that is the kidney okay and it conveys actually urine from your kidney to the urinary bladder so it is a muscular tube you can say it's like a muscular narrow tube which is actually used for the pathway for the conveying of urine from your kidney to the urinary bladder so if we talk about anatomy what is the size of this ureter uh, actually the size of the ureter is around 25 cm okay 25 cm we have two parts actually for the ureter we have abdominal part of ureter and we have with the pelvic part so uh, on equally the, the abdominal part is 12.5 cm and the pelvic part is 12.5 cm so in this diagram you can see this is your right kidney and this is your left kidney and this area is actually your renal pelvis area from where your ureter is beginning okay you can say it is beginning and going downwards and now uh, now going into the uh, inlet of the pelvic inlet to the pelvic ureteric junction this is pelvic ureteric junction okay and then it is going inside the and there is an orifice present in the urinary bladder that is called in the in the trigon of the urinary bladder and after that the urine is released in the urinary bladder so th through this orifice okay so we have right and the left ureter so in this diagram you can see this trigon this is urinary bladder this is prostate and this is your urethra okay now urethra is a narrow and now let's discuss the theoretical part now urethra is a narrow expandable that is expandable muscular tube which conveys urine from your kidney to the urinary bladder and how the urine is uh, urine is flown downward it is flown downward by peristaltic contractions which are present in the smooth muscles uh, muscles of your wall of the ureter in the wall of the ureter we have smooth muscles which does the peristalsis and because of peristalsis contractions of the smooth muscles the urine actually propels from your uh, kidney to the bladder by that process okay now let's see the course and course and course if we see how the urine uh, uh, that is your ureter how the ureter actually progresses downward towards the urinary bladder so if we say about the course first uh, uh, ureter begins from the funnel shaped renal pelvis so this is the funnel shaped renal pelvis this is a funnel shape you can see the shape is like funnel so it is a funnel shaped renal pelvis from where it is beginning so it is beginning actually from the funnel shape and which is actually the medial margin of the lower end of the kidney okay so this is the medial margin of the lower end of the kidney so you can see this is the medial margin this is on the medial side on the second we have it goes downward you can see it is going downward and medially on the sous major so uh, don't be panic i'll be discussing this theoretical part on the separate diagram this is a basic diagram i'm just relating this on diagram and i have another diagram on, on that all the theoretical part will be crystal clear okay now uh, it goes downward medially on the sous major so it will be going downward or you can say sous major will be present on the posterior of the ureter so okay in the posterior relation you can say the sous major on the posterior side so it will be crossing above the sous major and medial on the medial side of that muscle and this muscle actually separates the ureter from the transverse process of your lumbar vertebra so you can say this uh, ureter will also be passing lateral to the transfer process of lumbar vertebra okay and the now third after reaching your uh, sous major it now enters the pelvic cavity so you can see this is pelvic cavity now it is entering the pelvic inlet so from the urinary bladder it is entering the pelvic inlet clear now then enters the pelvic cavity by crossing the front of the bifurcation of the common iliac artery so here there is present your uh, common iliac artery and the common iliac artery there is bifurcation into the external and the iliac internal iliac artery so on the on that bifurcation it will be actually crossing that on the anterior side so on the, the, the posterior there will be common iliac artery and above that the ureter will be crossing and entering the pelvic cavity so you can say on uh, it is actually entering the pelvic cavity on which position on the bifurcation of your common iliac artery all that i will be show, showing you on the diagram separate diagram just we will discuss the theory in few minutes we will be going on to that diagram and relating all the course now uh, in pelvis now after entering the pelvis now you can you know this common iliac artery is actually present on the in the front of your sacro iliac joint now in pelvis ureter runs downward now ureter runs downward backward and laterally around the anterior margin of your greater sciatic notch now it is going downward and somewhat backward and laterally and along which margin on the anterior margin of greater sciatic notch on the pelvic pelvic bone we have studied so on the pelvic bone there is a greater sciatic notch greater sciatic notch is present like this and on reaching the ischial spine and from that greater sciatic notch it reaches your ischial spine 
and again it runs forward and medially to reach the base of your urinary bladder so now it runs forward and again it goes medially and from medially it goes towards your bladder so you can see this medial turn it is taking so this medial turn towards the this trigone and trigone there is orifice for this ureter for that it takes the turn now let's discuss or let's relate this on the diagram let's see this diagram so you can see this diagram okay so let's discuss on the this diagram so as i told you so as i told you on the theoretical part as i told you so in this diagram just listen now you you see it is starting from the renal pelvis here okay starting from the renal pelvis okay so it is starting from the renal pelvis sorry i'm sorry now it's starting from the renal pelvis you can see it here it's starting this is a right ureter and this is a left ureter so there's a funnel shaped renal pelvis from there it is starting okay and again it is you can see this south major muscle this fibers muscle fibers so this is mark your south major this so you can see this passing on the medial side for on this side and there is transfer this is lumbar vertebras are present these are the lumbar vertebras and on the lumbar vertebras we have the transverse process on the lumbar vertebras we have the transverse process on transverse process if there somewhat here it will be present transverse process of lumbar vertebra so it is passing on the lateral side of this transverse process clear uh, this medial sous major on the lateral side of transverse process this process clear now it enters the pelvic cavity and now pelvic cavity as i told you it, which artery it will be entering it will be entering on the bifurcation of your common iliac artery so this artery which is dividing from your abdominal aorta so this abdominal aorta and this are your right and left common iliac artery and here there is bifurcation this is your internal iliac internal iliac artery and this one is your external iliac artery okay clear and here you can see here there is bifurcation on bifurcation it is actually crossing so this ureter is actually crossing on this bifurcation where the bifurcation is occurring in the external and the internal iliac artery of the common iliac so on the bifurcation after crossing this bifurcation it is actually reaching in the pelvic region and from that that part of the ureter is called as pelvic part clear so this was the course of the pelvic part now further after entering it again goes from the posterior side not on the posterior on the pelvis you can see this is your pelvis pelvic bone or pelvic part of the ureter and you can see the external and internal iliac arteries are there this you can relate on this diagram clear this cross now as i told you it runs forwards backwards somewhat and laterally laterally to which notch greater sciatic notch as i as i was written i had written greater sciatic notch and again it goes medial okay towards your ischial spine and from the ischial spine it takes a medial turn okay so you can see here it is taking the medial turn and medial turn it, it takes a medial turn and enters into the orifice into the urinary bladder clear so this is the pathway so on the coming from your entering from your pelvic inlet so now it has entered from here pelvic inlet and after entering it crosses the bifurcation of common iliac artery okay and again it to goes towards downward and backward to the greater sciatic notch and on the level of ischial spine it takes a medial turn and reaches the orifice in the urinary bladder so this is the course for this ureter clear so this was the course now let's discuss the relations okay now let's discuss the relation now we have the relations for the right and the left ureter okay right and the left ureter on the anterior region the right side we have the second part of the duodenum you can see this orange one and we have the right colic vessels this is a ureter you can see right colic vessel the vessels will be supplying your colon we have ileo colic vessels for the ileum gonadal vessels for the ovary and the ureter uh, ovary and the testes so testicular arteries and ovarian arteries will be crossing okay on the from the anterior side and root of the mesentery will be present that is peritoneum okay so we have five relations for the right side of the ureter for the anterior relation on on the left side we have four we have left colic vessel same as right colic but here we don't have the second part of duodenum we have the sigmoidal vessel here we have the sigmoidal vessel you can see it is coming from actually from your inferior mesenteric artery inferior mesenteric vessels okay so you know, vessel 
so this one is your inferior mesenteric vessel from which it is coming the sigmoidal vessel because sigmoid sigmoidal sigmoid column is present on the left side so that is why for uh, sigmoid column there are branches of the arteries but will be crossing the left side of the ureter so sigmoidal vessel will be there and like same right gonadal here there will be left gonadal vessel and sigmoid colon will be present so sigmoid colon will be also on the anterior side of your left ureter clear so these are the points you can relate it here so these are the anterior relation and one more, uh, more relation on the basis of gender like in males we have ductus deferens which is called as your vas deferens in the pelvic part in the pelvic region pelvic part of the ureter this ductus deferens will be present okay on the anterior relation so ductus deferens will be crossing this in females uh, we have the broad ligament of uterus as in females we have uterus in males we have the testes and there is vas deferens so in males vas deferens will be crossing anteriorly the ureter and in females in uh, there will be broad ligament of uterus and the uterine vessels will be crossing and if we talk about the posterior relation for the ureter right and left side on the right side we have sos major as we have discussed in the course and the bifurcation of right common iliac artery for the right side because it is crossing above those organs okay organs and the artery uh, not organs muscles so this is a muscle so it will crossing above that so that is why it is present on the posterior side posterior relation on the left same left sos major and the left common iliac artery and parts as we have discussed the parts parts of the ureter so parts of the ureter we have abdominal part and the pelvic part so that i have told you in the starting equal the length is equal but what are the extents so it is extending from the renal pelvis to the bifurcation of the common iliac artery so abdominal part is actually extending from renal pelvis to the bifurcation of common iliac artery so in this diagram i have as i have shown you on the tab okay in the tab as i have shown you so from this part to this part till the bifurcation is your abdominal part and from this to the bladder so this part the small this part this part is your pelvic part okay base of the urinary bladder so they have somewhat equal length that is 12.5 12.5 and total ureter is around 25 cm clear now what we talk about medial part so on the medial right to the ureter we have ivc on the medial on the right side you can see there will be inferior vena cava will be present on the right ureter medial to that and on the left ureter we have left gonadal vein gonadal vein will be present gonads so vein will be actually on the medial side for this and the inferior mesenteric vein will be also and vein you can say or inferior mesenteric vessels because this is also the mesenteric artery so overall vessels will be present inferior mesenteric vessels will be present medial to this left ureter clear so this was the parts course and the relations in the next video we will be discussing the most important point that is constructions that are the constructions of the uterus all the constructions of the uterus on the diagram and the second the blood supply of the uh, ureter not uterus ureter okay thank you uh, we will be discussing I'll see you in the next video